Good afternoon, everyone. Hello, hello. Just bring it up on the screen. Hey, Amanda. How's your day going, down? Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So it is day two of the Great Australian Craft Show. So what that means for you guys is that you get to watch me create um, over the next couple of days. I'm just going to shut my door. Hang on a minute. Sorry about that. Hello, Robin. Hey, Sharon. Um, so, Great Australian Craft Show. What that means for you guys is you get a weekend of specials, free little mini classes and demos, um, daily specials, and all of the cool things. So, I today, I'm showing you how to use the Dina Wakeley sprays, which are the special of the day, the daily deal. I have got these out on special for 15% off and there's a huge color range available and I thought that I would show you how to use them in an art journal uh, this morning I did a really long sorry a really long live Facebook where we created cards so what we did this morning is we had a little of a play with six by fours and um, these are the, the four cards that I finished and I created a heap of other little backgrounds as well. So what I love about the gloss sprays is they have an intensity to them because they are acrylic paint in a spray and they have a gloss finish. So I know that's obvious, right? So this is one here. This is the first one that I did. Um, then we did... This one here, so created our background, laid up the colour, and then this is the Dina Wakeley collage paper, and this I we coloured this as well. Um, this I uh, this one is my probably my favourite, um, and I love that these this grungy background is was done created oh sorry created by wiping over my desk when I was finished, and um, the tissue paper we coloured. And then this one I finished up, added some yellow splatters, used my stencil in the background. So you can create some really cool effects for cards as well as scrapbooking and uh, art journaling as well. So, and because it's acrylic paint, it goes on lots of different surfaces. So what I'm going to do, I've got my large Dilusions journal here. And I'm just going to pop those bits off to the side. And um, Dilutionist journals are my favourite journal to use for art journaling. I love the size. Uh, because I started off as a scrapbooker, I struggle working in smaller journals, but I do, I'm getting better at it. Um, so these, this journal here is, it's got this nice, thick, heavy cardstock to it. It's about a 210 GSM, I think, um, but it is an ivory cardstock. What I did a little bit earlier, uh, just to speed up today's session, is I used some gesso. So I used uh, Liquitex Basics Gesso and an, a, a little latex sponge to add some stenciling in and around my edges. So it's not really showing very well on camera, but it's some stenciling just around here and just in this section. So this is using the Stencil Girl stencil, and I can't remember what it's called, but one of my most used stencils because it's got all of these awesome marks on it. So um, I do use this one a bit. So that's available online, 15% off this weekend. Um, and I don't really have much of a plan other than I stamped, uh, pre-stamped a head here, one of the Dina Wakeley figures. Um, I've, I opened this packet a little while ago. This is one of the Dina Wakeley stencils uh, and I haven't used it yet. So it actually comes with all of the, um, the letters as well. So I've just popped those into a Ziploc bag. Um, so I'm going to use that. I've got some stamps here and I'm also going to use 
some paper from the Collage Collective as well. So a bit of a Dina Wakely party today. All right, my background here, because I made such a full-on mess in the last live, um, I've actually prepared my area here. So I've got a puppy training pad down underneath here. This is the one from yesterday's. So I've got that under my page to catch my overspray. My page, because it's a, a, a two-page spread um, journal, this page here, I've just got some post-it note strip to run down that side to protect the page next to it. So I'm just going to jump right in and I'm going to start adding some spray. So the gloss sprays all need a good shake beforehand and it is highly recommended that you shake with the lid on and that would be why, because you get splatter. I may or may not have already got splatter up my arm and on my t-shirt, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna start using mineral here to start laying down a bit of a base of color. Um, mineral is that lovely light blue. It's not showing up very well on camera, unfortunately, but it's there. Um, I'm gonna then start having a bit of a play with some of the other colors. Uh, I know my image is gonna go here and I want some depth around the side. So I don't wanna to go too dark too soon. So I've got turquoise. Now, haven't prepared my whole page with gesso. I've only done those, those little areas with the stencil that I mentioned before because I wanted to try and see if it would offer a little bit of a resist, um, which it kind of is, but I'm trying things here, which um, you get to see me either completely fail or ace it, either way. Uh, okay, so that one was ocean. So I'm starting to build up some color here and I'm just gonna quickly give it a, a quick heat set because I want to add some pinks over the top, but I don't want it to the color to disappear too much. And it doesn't take long because it is acrylic paint in a spray. So the other really good thing is, is you see all of these little interesting circles that are coming up where it's pooling. I really love that look. That's very, very cool. Um, yeah, all right. That's all I wanted to do there. So let's get some stenciling on. I don't want to cover the whole page at this stage. I'm okay with a little bit of white space. So just touching it with that. All right, so let's use one of these alphabet stencils. Let's think about color here, all righty. Let's go yellow, stuff it, go in. And that is spraying, so I'm just gonna put my hand over it and shake it. So um, if you have a look at the photos from my last live, you will notice that um, I put photos of the finished projects up and I also put photos of my hands up. They were black and purple. They're not now. So the cool thing about this is that the the uh, Ranger Craft Scrubby got it all off. All right, just giving that a light spray. And now I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to stick my hand on it and transfer some of that yellow over to there as well. Just because I love it. And gently wipe that over. So now it's got that really nice touch of yellow across the page. And yeah, I like that. I'm gonna dry that off quickly. So this page is going to be just about stencils and paint, I'm not gonna add any collage elements until I add my focal point. So I'm adding the, I'm building my background at the moment and creating layers of interest and layers of color. So um, when you are art journaling, it's all about building up layers and creating lots of different elements for the eye to look at, but everything will come back to the focal point, which I'm gonna be putting in this area here. Um, okay. What am I gonna do next? I might pop a little stamping on, I think. So 
I'm going to be using my blah 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 stamp set um, that I designed and I'm going to use <laughs> black archival ink because black archival ink is not going to run when I add more color so when you purchase these they come in a whole big rubber piece that you then need to cut out I do this because then I can get more on the um, I can design it to get more for you guys more for the customer so you just need to use your Tim Holtz scissors to cut nice and tight in and around you can see that I've typed it uh, sorry typed it I've cut it in nice and close this way you can make sure that you get a really really good stamp um, and I am using the like I said the black archival ink always make sure that your stamp is the right way up oh perfect oh, I love that don't need it I'm just gonna use it like this around the page and my stamping isn't going to be floating in the middle they are going to be connected to an edge they can't just be smack bang in the middle here they they have to have a little bit of a connection so you will always find that it is going to be more visually pleasing when it has connection um someone has just commented who was that Judy, I, Judy, look, cutting the stamps, yes, it's a total freak out, but that's what's meant to happen with them, honey. And I have designed them like that uh, so that, yeah, like I said, so you can get good value for money. That's, that's the main purpose with it. And I'm not inking every time. I am doing, I'm off stamping so that I get a real grayscale finish on that. Radio, pop that one away. So this is actually part of a two set stamp and the other one uh, says original art on it and I might pop one of, some of that on a bit later. Maybe baby. Radio, what's next? It needs a bit more depth to it. It's a bit, it's a bit flat. All right. So I think I'm gonna use this scribble handwriting stencil and I'm going to add some spray up in this top corner because I think that it needs a bit of depth up around here and then I'm gonna pop some down the side. Um, what color am I gonna use? I think I will use a combination of marine and medieval. Now to do this, uh, first thing I need to do is cover up my iPad, which is right here, and these sprays. Because I'm gonna be spraying right up to this edge, I'm going to get overspray. Um, so, Pop my sprays aside. Actually, I might build it up with some eggplant first. So I've got that deep purple feeling here going on. Shake, shake, shake with the lid on, which is good because you can see that it's all drippy, drippy. So stencils and stamps are 15% off this weekend. Um, as a designer for Stencil Girl, I have quite a few stencil girl stencils on offer um, in the shop at the moment including I don't like that Hang on. including the brand spanking new ones um, and I have some more orders on the way as well I've mentioned before the postage system at the moment uh, American postage system is going to be the death of me sorry that just I didn't love that so rolling my paper towel over the top has left is taking the excess off so um i didn't love it because it went on to blotchy so the bonuses of yes tracy actually i do have a splat box but it doesn't work really well with the camera um the bonuses of working with an acrylic paint is that i have the ability to be able to wipe it off a bit so let's have another go what i want to do this time is i'm going to be a little bit um give it a bit more height to give it more of a graduated edge like that 
And now I'm going to use Medieval. Yeah, that's it. To get that corner, lift it up. And now I'm going to turn it and pop it straight on top like that so I can use that goodness there. So I have used it as a splat as well as, sorry, as a stamp as well as a stencil. Um, radio. So I'm just going to give this corner a little bit more depth. And I don't have the lid on, so I'm covering it up with my hand. That's better. Right now, okay. So building in this depth in the corner here is working really well, and I'm just quickly going to heat set it. So it hasn't, I've sprayed it and it's come out as a solid colour, but what's actually happening with the gloss sprays is they are separating on top of the other colours there, and I'm still getting this really cool, interesting pattern going on underneath. All right. So lightly heat setting it. And now I want to add a little bit more depth in and around here as well. So back to this stencil. Let's see if I can do it without stuffing it up this time. Yeah, that's better. Can't waste it, got to use it. And drying it off. So the layers are, is, is where the magic's happening is with all the layers of colour and everything that's coming up underneath it. And the acrylic paints, because it's like I said, because acrylic paints, the colours will sit on top of each other. We're not using um, a water-based spray. A water-based spray would probably not work because it would reactivate again because it has water in it. Um, so building it up like this is going to work. Um, I think I want to add a bit more yellow. I really love the way that this yellow is looking. So I'm going to pull out this stencil again. I'm going to keep my consistency with yellow within this pattern. So not to confuse it too much. Like that. And then I'm going to, I've turned it over. So there's all my wet um, paint on there. And I'm going to... Just place it on the top like that and it's just leaving a nice little mark on there. And that is all I wanted it to do. And I'm going to wipe that off onto my other page. All right, so still building up that little base, still having a bit of a play with the colour and I've lost it up here, which is fine because it's pulling on the top. Radio. What am I going to do next? I will. You know what? Let's just add some more colour. What the heck? Look, I just found another stencil sitting on my desk here. This is a paper rose stencil, um, the, the mandala, and obviously I used that with alcohol inks last time I used it because it's a bit grotty. But I love these little stencils. They're, they're really really lovely to use and they pattern up quite nice so um, I'm just going to use it as a stamp now so I give it a spray turn it over whack it on the top spray lift stamp yeah what the hell not why not why not why not alrighty And if you wipe them off quickly, your hands don't get trashed and everything else doesn't get trashed around it. Okay, so while that is drying, um, I earlier stamped, like I mentioned, I stamped on just plain cardstock the um, lady from the Dina Wakeley set and I have cut her out ready to go. So she's going to be my focal point. She's going to sit here. Um, but she needs a body. So I've pulled out the Collage Collective and I'm going to cut a body 
out of her right there. So I have two different sorts of the um, collage collectives in stock at the moment, and these are fantastic collage papers. So there's all of these really awesome pieces of art that Dina Wakeley has created that we can cut up and put into our journals. So the first half of the book is thin paper. You can see that that's quite thin. The second half of the book is quite a thicker paper. So all the pages are repeated. Um, I currently have volume one and volume two in stock. Um, this one here that I have is the very first one that she bought out. Uh, I haven't opened the other packet, the other ones yet, just because I just didn't need to open yet another thing off the shelf, which is one of the biggest problems of having your own little online store. It is that um, something comes in, having the willpower to not open absolutely everything is freaking ridiculous. Um, okay, so I'm looking for a colour with a bit of pink in it because I've got a bit of pink coming in up here and I've got a bit of pink coming in the side here. So I need to balance it out with some more pink. So looking through her amazing papers and I've found a couple here that one could work and the pages just tear out which is great um, I do know that when we first got these when I first got these books in stock a lot of the girls bought two because they couldn't bear to cut one up because they consider it to be a piece of Dina's artwork which is exactly right it is a piece of Dina's art so I think that that was a really good idea uh, whereas I'm just a bit more brutal than that and went with the stuff that I'll cut it up thing um, see here's my first problem I like this page here will be perfect but how can I cut that up like look at that that's amazing that's just an art journal page by itself so let's see if I have got that same page still in the front of my book because there's two of everything and it is there look at that so I still have that page in there because there's two of everything so I'm going to pull that one out um, so I can I have had this particular volume in stock it has recently sold out only last week but if you are interested in me ordering you a copy they retail for around the $30 mark because it's double the amount of pages than the other one um, the ones that are currently available so uh, you can send me a message and I'll order one in for you all right so how do I choose which one I want to use this is one that I pulled out, first of all. Um, let's get those babies out of the way. Keep my lids. Um, I like this one because it's got a bit of white in it. And it's also got a bit of blue as well. Um, but I really like this one because it's got blue and green and yellow. Um, and I think that this one will probably suit a little bit better for what I want to do. Um, right, finding a lead pencil. And she's gonna sit about here. And then I need to build a body around it. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm just gonna go down like that and down like that. So I have now created the shape that I need to cut out very lightly with my pencil. And now I'm gonna cut that out so that I have that shape ready to go. So this would work well if you have got scrap paper, if you have got gel prints, scrapbook paper, um, you can make your own paper with paint and the sprays you can collage some papers you can do just about anything at all oh look at that okay so she's going to go here that is going to sit she needs to sit that way a bit doesn't she she's looking a little bit fat but that's okay we won't say fat we say she's looking rotund she's looking very um COVID diet. 
Anybody else get that joke? All right, so I'm going to cut around her collar. And I'm just going to trim her up a little because she's a little rotund and that's bothering me. And I need to take it. Oh, no, that works. Like that. So now it's just a case of me deciding how much yellow I want to see down here. Um, so let's just do that, do that, do that. And at this point we say, Natalie, stop fluffing around and just stick the freaking thing down. Right. Um, goes to about there so I'm going to get some glue so again the glue that I have handy this I should use gel medium yes but um, feel free to go back and look through my last lot of photos that I uploaded and if you can see the gel medium on my desk to let me know where that is that would be splendid about now because it's disgusting it's that creative mess that we've all got going on. All right. Stuck down good there. And I've got a nice coverage. And I will cut that overlap off shortly. Before I stick her noggin on, stick her head on, I'm going to use a food ball pen to give it some definition because if I do it first, then I know that the, the line goes all the way to the top. So I'm only really focusing on this top section here. Yeah, that'll do. And now I can stick that on and I'll finish that doodling off in a moment. Um, glue. Hello, Vicky. Oh, you're up the river. I don't want to hear about it. I would love to be up the river. And no doubt my puppies would love it up there. Macy and Ollie are laying in the shade because um, I have two bulldogs and they are very, very sensitive to heat. So they are being all very precious. I think one's inside at the moment and the other one is sitting under the outdoor dining table, staying nice and cool. All right, there we go. It's a dog's life, isn't it? All righty. So, Pop that down. We are all stuck down. And now I'm going to do some doodling and some stamping and finishing her off. So I have created my focal point. The next thing is to do all of the finishing off elements, which are, like I said, the doodling and the fine detail. So the fine detail can include anything from additional stamping to, um, to creating a border around your page, which is I'm just going to loosely freehand draw that. And I love that the food ball pen goes beautifully over acrylic paint. Um, the other pen that goes really nicely over acrylic paint that you will find online is the Pintor, uh, sorry, the, well, actually, yes, the Pintor paint pens, but also the um, drawing pen, Pilot drawing pen, and there's three different widths in that pen. So that will work. Um, I need to cut off across the bottom here, and I need to add some drawing. So this is all nice. This is all very okay. But it needs something else on top of it because it's very pink right here. So what can I put on top of it? Um, I've got no idea. 
Okay, let's think this through. While I think about that, let's color her hair in. So I'm gonna give her some yellow hair because I've got the yellow in front of me. Um, and I have got my glass mat covered up, so I'm just gonna put a little bit onto my acrylic block and use that as a palette. So I'm just gonna tap that onto there. Wet my brush. So by wetting my brush first, um, I'm not going to get the full strength of the yellow. It's going to be watered down, which is perfect because then I can build color and I'm not gonna get caught out with this super bright yellow hair. I'm just gonna get that, which is ideal. Um, and I'm not going perfectly colored in edge to edge because nothing else about this page is perfect, so I don't want it to be perfect. Um, I've got some fuchsia here, so I'm just gonna spray it into the lid, actually, because that's easy. And I'm gonna pick it up out of the lid, put it onto here, and that's way too dark. So quickly, while it's wet, I can tone that back a little. Pop some color on her collar and on her lips and tip that out of there so that doesn't end up on my page. She needs some blue eyes. So a lovely little tip. Yep, spraying into the lid, spraying onto your acrylic block. Make it work for you. I've now got a thinner paintbrush. To do her eyes. Because they look a little empty. Otherwise. Um, she could probably do with some rosy cheeks. But I'm not quite game enough to do that. At the moment. And she could do with some skin tone. Um, I did put the other colours away, but she could probably do with apricot or like a toned down carnation in the skin tone. Um, all right, so let's look and see what else we can do. We need some wording along here. This is bugging me. Um, so let's, let's create a word here. Let's do this. Um, let's make a word. I know. I need a short word, don't I? Because the letters are big. Give me a short word that I can do across here. I know. Art. All right, so how do I do that? Let's do it with black archival ink and a blending tool. So my um, range of blending tool. straight into the black archival ink and the good thing about the black archival ink is that it has that beautiful permanency to it and if you give it a bit of love it'll have some depth to it I am not phased about the middle of my a being missing that doesn't bother me at all because I know what it says um, a R. Now, I also have available some mini blending tools. The little mini ones probably would have been better for this because I'm concerned about getting the letter, picking up the letter next to it. Um, so I'm too lazy to walk over and take one of the little mini ones off the shelf. But we're gonna make this one work. Oh, there we go. And now I want to do T. Um, so yesterday when I did this using another stencil and black archival ink. Oh, shit. Um, I, sorry, didn't mean to swear. I need that swear jar out again. Um, a customer, a lovely viewer, told me a little tip for getting it, uh, getting the ink off of my stencil because black archival ink is permanent 
you do end up with a stained um, and it doesn't come off all that easy like a stained stencil so the tip that she gave that damn well worked not that I doubted you at all Sophie is hand sanitizer spray 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 and then I just let it sit for a second and wiped it off with a baby wipe and bugger me it came plain look at that so if you've learned nothing today that's my tip of the day now I put my hand sanitizer somewhere so if you've got hand sanitizer gel that would also work you just need to spread it on there I've got some little hand sanitizer bottles um, and yeah that that came really clean um, the rest of the yellow paint still on there but that's okay so bonus tip of the day all right so I have my word here I have the word art and now I'm going to do some doodling in and around it and finish that off so like that all right so while I'm just working through this and thinking about my next step um so yes as part of the the great australian craft show um and doing these free demos for you i run all the specials all weekend to reward you for watching me and putting up with my crap um for those of you who do know me yes i have very much that human element that uh that that no bullshit human thing going on where i tell it how it is um and consequently, tomorrow morning's 10.30, 11am class, uh, mini demo, may not be happening because I am going out tonight for my mum's 70th birthday. So I am planning a hangover. Um, so it may be around lunchtime. I will give you all a good half hour warning on when... When I am going to be doing the lives, but you'll certainly know about it. All right, so we're on the right track here. Let's think about what else I can do. I have got going back to my um, blah 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 stamp set. I've got a couple of little mini stamps in here that I thought I might use. So I've got one that says original art, the other one that says not today, this one says blah blah blah. Let's go with the original art one. I think the not today one will be suitable for tomorrow, um, depending on my level of ordinary. But let's give it a go. And what I'm doing is I, again, is I am off stamping. So I am stamping once and then stamping again in and around it so that it gives a shadowed effect. And I love the hell out of that. That works so much better than it did in my head. Yes. Um, I might pop one up here. And knowing when to stop is important, actually. So let's just pop that away. Righty-o. I am on the right track. Um... I need to finish it off with a little bit more a few splatters it needs a little something I'm not loving where it's going to finish up and I will bring it up to camera at the end um, to show you all of the detail because it's just not picking it up right now um, I need to add a little bit more pink I've got this pink coming here and a bit more here but I think I need to add some splatters of pink so I'm going to give my magenta a good shake and I'm going to cover up her head because I do not want that white of her face because I haven't exactly decided what I'm going to do here yet so I'm going to cover up god anyone would think that it would be hard to rip a piece of paper towel um wow there we go oh I think the delivery guy just came guys that's a good thing for you and I can't remember what I'm expecting today so um, hopefully I'll get some time to upload to the website shortly 
Um, all right, so I'm going to add some splatters of pink. Just like that. It's called the smoker's tap. Anyone who used to be a smoker will be awesome at this. But it's just a really light tap of color. I don't want to go over the top. That's not necessary. Um, and I'm going to add a little yellow as well, you know, just because. Because I can. And it's all happy days. Um, and then I'm going to add some mineral. So mineral is that really, really light. Oh, you know, it's that blue gray. It's that mineral color. Oh, that's better. Oh, and then you do that. And I've got a big goober. Did you see my goober hit there? Yeah, hang on a minute. Let me see how I can fix that. That didn't go to plan. So, because it is acrylic paint, I should be able to pick it up. Voila, it's gone. It's gone. Any other bits I don't like? Don't love that bit. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So, let's just quickly hit it with the heat gun. See if um, it's all balanced and finished off nicely. I can't decide if I want to colour her face or not. What do we think? What's the what's the vote, peeps? Do I do I colour her face or not? No, thanks, Del. It's this 20 second delay. Rebecca says no. Del says no. Mandy says yes. Oh my God. Joanne says no. Okay, we're three no's and a yes. Right, okay, it's a no. Sorry, Mandy. You've been outvoted. Um, okay. Cut the bottom off here. Um,. I'm going to get my um, Pintor paint pen and just give myself give myself a little bit more scribbly frames because I just wanted a little bit more depth and definition and this page is super shiny and I just, I don't know that it's showing up on camera, but um, okay, and knowing when to stop I did say that, didn't I, and I really should just stop, but it's bugging me It's bugging me that there is a line in there, so I just need to fix that. So just where the stenciling and the black archival ink overlap onto the paper has left a really fine line in there and that's doing my head in. So um, I know you can't see it, but I can. And it's all in the details. All right, so. I'm going to take the camera, no I won't, I'll bring the, yes I will, I'll take the camera off the tripod and I'm going to take the um, camera down to the page to show you the ins and outs. Alright, and I'll turn the light down, down, hey, there we go, alright, so what we have got here, when we look at what we can see, is all of these lovely layers. So we've got the stamping. Oh, look at my pretty hands. We've got the stamping in the background. We've got all of that beautiful stenciling in there as well. 
Um, that stamping that I did around the word, original art, I might put some more wording up here. I'm going to hand write something up there in a moment. Um, but I'm pretty happy with how this is finished off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of photos, just do a little bit more scribbly doodling on this in a jiffy and then um, leave it at that. So thank you very much to everybody for tuning in today. Um, so we, just to recap, we did use the Dina Wakeley um, gloss sprays. Oh, look at the state of that. You can't even tell what colour that is fuchsia so we use the dina wakely gloss sprays which are the sale item of the day at 15 percent off so that takes them down from ten dollars fifty down to eight dollars something because i don't do math so um you can find them online under daily deals on nataliemay.com and for those of you who have already placed an order like i mentioned before um if you have already placed an order and you would like to order again please select no judgment at the checkout and i will combine your orders for you um if you are ordering for the first time please pay 12.50 for postage and then you get postage um, free for the rest of the weekend by yeah we just add everything together and go from there so um 15 percent of stamps and stencils so the stamps that i use today the stencils that i use today are 15 percent off uh with the exception of the natalie may scrapbooking ones they are not on special they are already at the lowest possible price that i can do them um other than that have a fantastic day. Um, go and enjoy the sunshine. Wash your hands, kiss your kids, and thank you for your support.